Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about drill down in Power BI. So it's a kind of similar to the hierarchies in the Power BI, or I can say it is same as hierarchies only, or it is hierarchies only. Let me use here AdventureWorks data warehouse database for our example. It is very familiar to each and everyone. The people who are working on the Microsoft SQL Server, they will be knowing the AdventureWorks data warehouse. Here in this database, so I am planning to use one date dimension, so which contains uh, date related information. So date uh, date related information. It means that the date, year quarter, semester, month name and all in couple of languages. So that contains a date related and it's a kind of date dimension. And the second table I am planning to use as a fact table. So the name of the fact table is fact internet sales. So which are of having some sales amounts and it is linked to the date dimension table. So that's what about the um, AdventureWorks data warehouse 2012. So these are the two tables which I am planning to use for my examples now so how to use and how to create a drill down i'll show you in the power bi let's go to the power bi desktop so this is a place where i'll be loading the adventure works data warehouse into the memory in memory and i'll be designing some uh, charts here and later i'll planning to implement the drill down so let me click on get data here it's a very familiar Let's click on SQL Server as I am planning to load the data from SQL Server. So once you click on SQL Server, it will ask you what is your server name. Here my server name is dot slash SQL 2012. Let's click on OK. So once I click on OK, it will show you the list of databases which are available in my server. So for example, I have around like a 10 plus databases in my server. So out of that, I need to select what is the database which I am planning to use for my example. So as I told you, I am planning to use AdventureWorks. So I need to select what are all the tables you are planning to load into in memory of the Power BI. So as I told you, I am planning to take one date dimension. I select the date dimension. So once I select the date dimension, so I can see the sample data in the right side with all the columns and you can see one message. The data in the preview has been truncated due to size limit. It will show you the first 10 or 20 sample rows only just to finalize is this the data you are planning to load or not. So it won't show you all the data in the preview window. Next, let's select the second table also. As I told you, I'm planning to take one more fact table with the name of fact internet sales. Here also the same way. So it, it shows you the sample data with all the columns and values and you can see the same message. The data in the preview has been truncated due to size limits. So once you are OK, let's click on load. Due to the size of the table, it may take a while to load that entire data into the Power BI window. So let's wait till it loads. So once a loading is done, it automatically detects a relation because it's already linked. Fact table and dimension table is already linked. If you want to cross verify that relation is there or not, so you can go to the relationships in the page one. Let's click on the relationships where you can see is it connected or not. So you can see here now. So the both are connected here if you see. So it interlinked between between many keys. Okay, you can if you want to see what key is linked between these two tables. Once you hover the particular uh, arrow, you can see date key and date uh, due date key is linked here, and date key and uh, order date key is linked. Next, date key and ship date key is linked because these all these three keys are date keys only. These all these date keys are linked to the ship date key, due date key, and ship date key only. So once you're okay with the relations, let's come to the drill down option and let's go for the visualization design. So here, let me take so any visualization for my example, but for time being, I'm planning to take clustered column chart. Let me select that. 
so let me make it a little bigger okay so now so this is what my visualization now let me select what are all the columns i am planning to use for my visualization here so i want to take sales amount from the fact internet sales out of there are uh, around many columns are there but i wanted to take sales amount into the value fields sales amount into the value fields but the sales amount is in billions yeah here you can see so i have selected only sales amount that's the reason why i got only one uh, bar in my column chart okay now so what all i need in the access let's go to the access so let's expand the date dimension now let's select the year into the axis so once i keep the year into the axis now the bar has been split into multiple bars so let me increase the font size of it so that i can read it out easily so let's go to the axis and let me increase it to right yeah so now 2005 6 2007 2008 i have four years of data and if i don't have a year i'll be getting only one bar if i have a year i'll be getting four bars so each and every bar having a respective amounts and i can see the difference in the heights of the bar let me change the y-axis uh, font as well so that i can easily read it out yeah now you can see <clears throat> So this is a basic uh, report. Now let us see how to implement a, a drill down here. So before that, let me increase the font size of the title as well. Right. Okay. So now let me go back to the design uh, part. Yeah. So this is a general report uh, without hierarchy and without uh, a drill down option. Now, so I want to see the uh, sales amount year and quarter wise so for that purpose you need to select the quarter and you need to drag and drop in the axis so now i'll be getting if i by default i'll be seeing the yearly sales amount if i want i can see the quarterly sales amount as well now how to see the quarterly sales amount if you see this you will be getting like a three options one is a, a drill up the other one is kind of a drill to the next levels now if i kept uh, if i click on the second uh, down arrows I'll be going to the quarterly amounts. In the first quarter of the each and every year, I have this much of sales. In the second quarter of the every year, I have this much of the sales. And third year, so third quarter and fourth quarter. So now, by looking at this, you can easily identify second quarter of every year having a good sales. That's how I can identify that. Okay. Now I want to identify which month have the very good sales. Let me take the calendar month as well. So I am planning to take English month name. So that i can easily understand the month name as well so i just dragged and drop the month now now so ideally when i go for the yearly sales i have a 2008 have the very good sales comparatively with uh, 2005 2006 and 2007 let me go to the little down which quarter have the very good sales i have second quarter have the very good sales compared with the other quarters now let me go to the next level if you see here which month have a very good sales so I think I have around a June month having a three around millions. Yeah. So June month is having 3.3061307. Yeah. May month having a very good sales. So now I can easily say irrespective of the year, I'm talking about month here. Okay. May month have very good sales and second quarter have the very good sales and 2008 year have the very good sales. If I wanted to go in that manner, I, I can see that way. Otherwise, I need so which year, which quarter and which month have a very good sales. So that time, how to go? Let's go back to the top level first. Then, then let's keep on the third arrows. So if I click, if, if I click on the third arrows, I'll be getting year and quarterly first. Now let's click on it. Now if you see here, 2005 third quarter, 2005 fourth quarter, 2006 first quarter and like and so on. Here if you see, 2008 second quarter have a very good sales. I can see now. So if, if you understand, if you remember the difference between that and this, if you remember the uh, earlier uh, graph, so that is month-wise, year-wise, and uh, quarter-wise. But here, it is year and 
quarter actually in this now if you wanted to see along with month year quarter and month let's click on one more time this arrow now you can see this let me minimize this visualizations and i can see at least little so here if you see here i can see 2008 third quarter and july like this i can see so means this power bi having a flexibility to show you at multiple levels if you want if you want it will show you only at the yearly level if you want only at the quarter level if you want it will show you only at the month level or if you want all these three combinations you have that option as well that is the beauty of the power bi so you don't need to code too much as a developer you don't need to code too much you just simply need to say what are the information you want to display so there are some people may ask you you need you might need some um, semester as well you can keep the semester and you can see that you can show that as well so this is the beauty of power bi so without writing uh, too much of code you can easily see only at the quarterly information only at the month information across the table across the uh, business years or along with the business years also you can see that that's it in the uh, drill down options uh, today so if you like our videos uh, please uh, subscribe and share hope you liked our videos thank you for watching that's it